We got memed. That's going to be the name of this episode. Today we're going to show you the length it took to take this big truck under this small awning. On Project Sullivan, I'll give you a hint. You may not want to try this at home. This week on Project Sullivan. The team go on an epic adventure to capture and transport the taunting 1996 F-250. The Ford, with its immense size and weight, was most reluctant to be confined. But Project Sullivan had to forcefully subdue it so that we can try to get it to medical no, I mean mechanical help it's so desired, needed to be returned to the wild. Where it can frolic and tow to Ford's toughest desire. Join us this week as we cage the beast and see where it stands, the ICU or if it's through. So I've got a story for you. This story starts with two guys trying to start a Ford truck, but they didn't have a battery. So, went down to the local Tire and Lube Express, not a sponsor. I tell the guy, you don't have a car. How should I bring this battery in for a cord? He says, take the electric cart. I say, okay. And here we are. Sorry about the wind noise. But I gotta get this battery in so we can swap it out and continue with the rest of the show. It's always a good start when both your battery cables are black. Sorry for the wind. Yeah, we got quite a bit of wind today. No, that's not the ground. That's the positive. It's going to the coil. This is the ground. The tiny ground. Holy cow, I nailed the side on that thing. Wild guess or coincidence. See if it'll turn over. Something there. What rain? That's a good sign. So uh, pull this off here.
right, crank it. Check for spark then. What we're gonna do is check to make sure we even have spark first. Go ahead and crank it. Yeah. Check the coil water. Go ahead. Again. Try it over here. One more time. We got no spark. Jumping the solenoid here. If the key's in the on position, we'll get it to crank. We have absolutely no spark coming out of here. Well, since I had to go back to the house anyway, I got my actual tool for this. Watch this thing right here, because that's where the light will light up. No light. First place to check, use it. That's a good fuse. I don't know if you can see that, but you see the metal in between. That's burnt. You see how it's not connected right there? Hmm, won't crank with just one and done. Must not just need fuel or a fuel pump. I'm just gonna rush through and check all these fuses. I'm just gonna check them all. It's easier than just uh, searching for one, and Ford likes to make it to where you use the manual to find some of these fuses. I'll just check all the fuses. You can tell a fuse is bad when the filament in the center is broken. Some have a light on top that'll pop on when they're broken. Yeah. The big ones now. A vast majority of vehicles have two fuse boxes that some have to put under the hood. We're just going to go ahead and check the rest of these fuses while we're at it. Now to check the other fuses. The big fuses check the same way. Older fuses can be shaped like a cylinder, but they work the same way. Right here is our coil. Our coil has no power going to the distributor. So I'm gonna start out. Now we've already checked our fuses. The next step is to try and disconnect this coil wire. Awesome. And freaking fantastic. Okay, if you see, there's only two wires going to this coil. You can see them both. One right here and one right here. If I touch one, you can see our test light's on, so it's hot. Our, our ignition is in the on position, and this one is not. So, okay, I'm going to have GoGo -Go switch the test light to the other battery terminal. Now we're hooked to the positive. We were hooked to the negative, that way we can test for a hot wire. Now that we're hooked to the positive, you can see if there's a ground wire. You can see the lights turn green now instead of red, which tells us we, we got a good connection. So our ground and the other are working. That means our coil is getting power. So we will be back shortly, I guess. Well, you know what? We'll take off this coil and have to go get it changed out. Turns out we got us an American Ford. It's actually a 716, not a 10 millimeter. The one time I can find a 10 millimeter. Might become Spider-Man today. There's a bunch of spiders under here. Hopefully one of them's radioactive. You want to become Spider-Man? Hey, why not? Because we don't live in Manhattan. Well, he had to make his own web shooters. I'm fine with driving. You know, he had a car too. 
Let's turn off our key and go get us a new coil. We're gonna take the rest of our coil off the bracket here with our whopping mighty 716 socket. We're not gonna do a full restoration on this truck. It's gonna be a work truck. Yeah, we gotta get this going so we can have more projects in the future. Now remember, we were told that all this thing needed to run was a fuel pump. So we've, we've become a meme. Because already it's not the fuel pump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it's not just a fuel pump. We don't know if it's still the fuel pump or not. Any other moment? Is this important? <laughs> yeah. Now, we'll have our next step after this. What, okay, trying so it? it's mounted in. Let me just hook up the electronics here real quick. And then coil wire. Watch this indicator. If the light comes on, go go. While we're waiting, one. let's do a dad joke of the day. My son is chewing on electrical cables. So I had to ground him. Crap. It's on! It'll run! Uncle David, because we're gonna have to have some fun with this one. Why? Oh, y'all will see. I got, I got a plan for this bad boy. That, that never goes. Well. We may or may not be trained professionals. Do not try this at home. This is pretty dumb. Do you know what time it is? It's time for one and run. Works 100% of the time, sometimes. Shock me, sorry. I have to do a lot of voiceover on this one because of all the wind. I have to apologize for that. Heh, <laughs> ran out of one and done. Had to go get another. Don't stop! <laughs> Those. 
I had to get some more go juice. <laughs> Definitely still fuel pump issue. Right, right. I had to get the magic. This one, does this one have two gas tanks? Contact! But it's not moving. Right here, the one and done didn't have enough power to get it over the hill, so we had to pop it into four wheel drive. On the plus side, we know the four wheel drive works. button if you didn't see us tow this truck check out this link that should be right here